Hello everyone and um, welcome to another little video tutorial by Nitro Cosplay. So Jay asked me if I could do a little video on how I make my horns. So I said yeah, I'll throw together a little video on that for you, not a problem at all. If there's anything you'd like to see featured, just give us a message or let us know in the comments and I'll do my best to get them together for you. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to need is a paper template of your horn. Um, I had on the build, the horn that I was building was a 22 uh, centimetre circumference at the base of the horn. So what I've done is I've made this template at 11, uh, 1100, 11 centimetres. So what we'll be doing is we'll be doubling up this template, which we've got here. So I've got one this way, and then I've flip the template and I've got one drawn on this way um, so next thing we're going to need to do is cut that out what you need to do is get a um, super sharp blade I'm using exacto blades and you want to come in at an angle straight away so we're not doing straight cuts we're holding the blade at an angle um, starting at the tip or wherever you like and so we need to make sure that we're putting a bevel cut onto that horn straight away just so I can come down through here I'll just get this first one cut out on camera and then I'll cut the other one out off, off camera to save you watching me cutting. So you'll see that we've got on there a bevel straight away. It's not a straight cut, it's actually a beveled cut. Alright, so I'm going to go and get the other one cut out and then I'll come back and explain, explain what we do after that. Okay, so I've now got these two sections cut out, um, beveled both, both sides are beveled. Um, and then right at the very very top I'm just gonna pin down this top section slightly so I'm just gonna take a little slice off of there just like that and I'm gonna do exactly the same on the other one as well because the two tips should be touching uh, it just saves a little bit of sanding later on just taking a little thin slice off there Um, so now we've got our two templates like that. Next step will be is to get our heat gun um, and actually heat the two sections up. Um, again, I'm going to do that off the camera. I'm just going to apply heat to both sides and I'm just going to bend them inwards like that and hold the shape. Uh, so I'll do that off the camera because it's quite noisy as well. So I'll come back in a second once I've done that. Okay, so I've got these two pieces heat formed. I've just put a curve onto them. Um, like that and what I did then afterwards is I just roughed up that edge I just went in there with a Dremel and um, the reason I roughed that up is once something's been um, heat formed it actually closes the pores in the foam so the glue doesn't really sink in quite as well so I just went through with a Dremel and just roughed those edges up you could hand sand it I suppose um, but Dremel's always a little bit quicker so the next step that we're going to do is glue it <laughs> Yeah, it really is, as, you know, they, they, they probably look daunting to make horns, but they're really not. So we're just gluing the um, edges in with our contact adhesive. Just make sure you've got a window open when using contact adhesive, because it's pretty um, potent stuff. If you've got a respirator um, with an organic filter, then I'd advise using one of them just to um, protect yourself. Because crafting is supposed to be um, fun, not about making yourself ill or endangering your health. So always be thinking of your health when crafting. So we're 
we're making sure that we're gluing all of the inside edge and the tip there we go and then any spills you've got on the other side uh, no I'm pretty good you can just go through and clean them up before they dry so I'm gonna go and uh, glue the other one and then I'll come back and we'll be putting the two pieces together and we're nearly done Right, okay, the glue's now dry, so I'm going to start sticking the two pieces together. You can start either side, you can start that side, or you can start this side. Oh, get your fingers in the right place, there we go. Alright, and you're just gluing the edges together. So this is why we put the bevel cut on there. Um, just because it helps bring the two pieces together. Try and line your seams up as best you can. Working our way up towards the tip. Ooh. Okay, swap over to the other side. be a little bit fiddly so just take your time with it there's no rush there's a little bit for me because obviously I'm filming a tutorial and I'm sure you guys don't really want to be sitting there watching me glue seams together yeah, so that's all roughly just start to squeeze them all in So that's all the seams all now pushed in nice and tightly. Alright, and now you've got your sort of like a basic now basic 3D horn shape. Um, you'll see right at the very top obviously where the, the tips come in. That's why we took that extra slice off just so we can get that narrowing to the top as a horn would. It's thicker at the bottom and narrows to the top. Um, so next thing we go there is just apply some heat to it and then we can get a better shape to it. All I'm doing is just trying to round, round it out as it was. Um, try and bend that in. Bend that in. So the next step what we would do now after we've heated it and we've got a shape that we're fairly happy with is we'd go through and we'd sand out this seam section so where this seam is we'd go through with a dremel um, if you want to hand sand it's quite quite nice to hand sand that with um, sandpaper 
I was going to do a little video on um, hand sanding, but I thought it'd be quite boring for you guys to sit there and watch me sand. Um, what I do with hand sanding is I use a 320 grit wet and dry, then a 400, 600, 800, 1000, 120, and then a final pass with a 1500 grit. And that gives you a really smooth, smooth finish on your sanding. Um, so that's the one I just made for you guys. I will show you quickly what they look like on something. So let's just adjust the camera for that. Uh, there we go. That's what they look like when they're on a prop. Um, what I've actually done with this one is, if I just leave the camera there, I've actually made these ones removable so the, the, cus, the, the customer as it was can actually then position them for transport he can take them in um, take them out and then put them back in when he gets to where he's going and wants to use them and then he can position them how he wants so he can have them in the upright or in the um, other position that you saw um, but that's what they look like finished and on an actual piece so there we have it, that's how I make my horns, um, that's basically nice and simple, it's nothing really to worry about, nothing too daunting, um, and quite effective as you saw on the helmet I'm currently building, they look quite good when they're on a, on a prop piece like that. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video tutorial, and as I say, if there's anything you want to see me um, do a video on, or if there's any that you'd like to know just drop us a message or leave a comment and i'll do my best to get them done for you so keep it nitro cosplay for more tips tricks and tutorials